production of butanol uh, in primary metabolites we already saw the amino acid production and organic acids and all so today we are going to talk about the butanol it is nothing but a biofuel and it can have a similar property of gasoline that's why we can also mix it some of this butanol along with the uh, resources that is uh, fuel and uh, this will have been produced by fermentation method by many microbiological methods and all so traditionally they underwent an aerobic process of uh, anaerobic process of uh, abe fermentation which is a very very traditional fermentation method uh, here they will uh, able to produce acetone butanol and ethanol so the main microorganism which can able to format this butanol will be clostridium acetobutylicum and clostridium uh, bijonic tea so these are the main organism for the industrial production of a butanol the milestones of bibutanol production uh, we can say in uh, 1861 the overall butanol production have been done by using a fermentation method and then in 1911 the isolation as well as the patenting of this uh, microbial production that is the stain which can able to produce this butanol have been uh, patented as well as isolated from using a stuff stain which is called as potato starch and then in 1912 the isolation of these bacteria from the starch as a substrate they have identified and lately they have named this as a clostridium acetobutylicum and in 1920s the main production is in bioalcohol that is biobutanol by using uh, as a solvent and then in uh, late 1960s they have almost stopped uh, the overall production of this uh, industrial production they have started in 1920 to 1980 till that they are underwent for the industrial production of uh, butanol and because of the large uh, cost of your uh, substrate they underwent for some of the chemical methods in 1960s uh, by using a fossil fuel and then in the 1980s as well as in 1990s the overall the research work have been done for uh, a better plan pilot plan for the production of this uh, biobutanol then in 2000 the increased commercial production of biobutanol have been happened and most of the companies are producing this biobutanol in industry as for the commercialization so there are some of the reason why we should undergo for this uh, biobutanol uh, when compared to any other alcohol especially for uh, ethanol it have uh, this butanol will have uh, many varieties of uh, uses or unique qualities we can say uh, and uh, if we talk about the distribution the, it have very less corrosion and also the low solubility effect when compared to the ethanol so if we are also going for the blending ability as i already told you that this biobutanol can able to mix along with the uh, fuel biofuel so even to the finishing product we can use this bioethanol in also in a higher concentration level so the blending ability is so good in compared to ethanol and then in the energy production so we can say the the properties as well as the value of the gasoline is almost similar to this butanol that's why this butanol have been used as a fuel and uh, also when compared to a fuel of ethanol as well as the butanol and the fuel economy is very very better and then the usability we can say like uh, because of its heat of vaporization is very low it can be easily used as a biofuel and if you are using this uh, biofuel um, we can say like uh, the engine start as well as the engine problem can be resolved by using this uh, butanol and uh, if we talk about the safety it's very very safe and compared to the ethanol because the um, it have a very low amount of emission and also the low vapor pressure because of these unique property we can also use this butanol than any other uh, alcoholic method then what are the microorganisms which can able to ferment or is produce a butanol especially there are two different methods one is like clostridia another one is enteric bacteria so these are the commercially utilized organism and uh, 
first one if you talk about the clostridia the clostridium acetobutylica as well as the clostridium bigenicae and uh, e coli these are the two microorganisms two varieties of uh, microorganisms which can undergo for the fermenting then we talk about the metabolic pathways so uh, even the acetone butanol or less ethanol can also be underwent some of the phases and this will be classified as acetogenesis or a solventogenesis so if you take any of the substrate as we all know that in the glycolysis pathway when it the glucose are being converted into pyruvate in that stage the pyruvate can directly convert it into butanol or else it will undergo a two process acetone uh, one is that acetate as well as butyrate then this acetate will be converted into butanol and ethanol this butyrate will be converted into acetone and butanol so if you are undergoing acetogenesis that is acetate or butyrate will be converted and then the solventogenesis will happen so this is for the metabolic pathway of uh, biobutanol production so when we talk about the glycolysis pathway the glucose will be converted into pyruvate and then it will further undergo some of the acetyl coa then aceto acetyl coa then it will also undergo three hydroxy butyl coa then crotonyl coa then butyl coa then butyl aldehyde so when it reaches the butyl coa because of the some of the enzymes in each and every stages there will be conversion of these intermediates will occur and then uh, we can say the butyraldehyde will be converted into the butanol with the presence of an enzyme which is called butanol dehydrogenase so already we know that the glycolysis pathway and what are the enzymes will be involved in each and every step so the conversion of this butanol is our main desired product so this will be happened after the it reaches the butyl coa and then butyraldehyde steps then uh, we will move on to the uh, the substrates as we all know very well uh, when we are going for any microbial production the medium plays an important role so the media formulation is very very important so when compared to a laboratory scale medium preparation the commercialized uh, industrial production we have to be very very choosy when we frame this raw materials because the, if this raw material is very very costly it will affect also the finishing product to be in a higher price so in in order to reduce that we will be more conscious about choosing this raw material so some of the substrates as a carbon sources the agricultural residues are being utilized as a carbon source um, for example the wheat straw corn based or rice waste and also the corn liquefied corn meal and corn strip liquid these are being uh, used as an carbon carbon sources so either the agriculture waste or else from some of the industrial waste we are going to mix it along with our some of the nitrogen ammonium uh, uh, we can say ammonium acids or else uh, by or some of the vitamins we will formulate that media then we will undergo the production process then um, Whenever we talk about the straw material selection, no, but here the the butanol plays an important role in order to undergo some of the pre-treatment. So because this organism Clostridia cannot able to ferment this straw heavy fiber raw materials into our desired product butanol. So it requires to convert some of these fibers into some of the fermentable sugars. So we are having this pre-treatment method. Uh, either they will use the acid pretreatment has hydrolysis or else by alkali hydrolysis or else by enzymatic method so they will directly add these uh, either the acid alkali or an enzyme in order to hydrolyze these cellulose materials into a fermentable um, sugars okay then it will be very easy for the microorganism to utilize this fermentable sugars into our